I wanted to do two things um, today. I want to do, I don't even know where we stopped at. So I can't find my Bible right now. And that's frustrating. Cause it's like, of all the things that I can't find, it's that fucking Bible. Okay. And we need to finish Revelations before we can get into our next section of our therapy. <laughs> and it's taking longer and longer and longer. I also wanted to pull cards. So I have this big ass Bible, but I don't even know what version it is. It's not giving the same I don't know where we stop. And I like the other one because it gave a little think of things on the top. I feel like we probably stopped at like. I know for sure we did eight. Or maybe we didn't do eight. For sure did seven. Okay, I'm not even feeling the vibe for it. So we're not even going to do it. I'm going to just pull cards. Um, I'm going to pull cards today. Just some oracles. Seven, seven, seven. Spirit said yes. Okay, so let's do some pulling of the cards. And go from there. Maybe I'll do it like later on. I don't really look for it. I was like, what the hell? Like, where the hell would we? You won't irritate my soul. Irritate my soul. Irritate my soul. And I'm telling everybody. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that came out before. Six of Hearts. Inner Union. Right? Harmony. I think Spirit is again reiterating letting go of stubbornness. Six of uh, what's that? Clubs. Catch a four leaf clover. Ten of hearts. Look, six plus four is ten. Don't I look like I belong somewhere tropical right now? Like, don't I look like I belong on a beach somewhere? Drinking daiquiris? I agree. I agree. I agree. Let's see. I'm um, gonna wait before we do those. Let's just start with one thing at a time. <laughs> so, like I said, we got J of Spades, Six of Hearts, 
six of clubs, ten of hearts, um, four of clubs, and seven of clubs. So there's finances, financial, there's the heart space, and then there's this. <laughs> These are thoughts, right? So, um, this is like being at war with your thoughts, right? It's the Joker doubting yourself. It's self-doubt. Um, it's this moment of like, am I supposed to be doing this? Um, it's the psyching yourself out, right? It's that inner battle mentally of like, it's like that, that tussle right before the breakthrough comes, right? Because after Jay, is Q and K, right? It's the queen and the king, right? So with the J, you are like, am I, joker, 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 right? Am I being a joker? Like, am I being a fool? Am I making a fool out of myself? Am I stupid to believe in my dreams? Am I stupid to go down this path that is unpaid, right? Am I stupid for this, that, and the third? Um, just really just banging yourself up over your mental space, right? Am I stupid to like this person? Am I stupid to invest in this relationship? Am I stupid to invest in this uh, venture? Am I stupid to move out on my own? Am I stupid for dropping out of school? Am I stupid for quitting my job? Am I stupid for this, that, and the third, right? So it's your thoughts going against whatever intuitive decision you decided to make. If you had intuitively felt you needed to leave that relationship, now, right now, is the moment of silly of me to think that I could ever have you for my God. How I love you right um and so whatever you were intuitively feeling this is i'm doubting that I, my rational mind is now coming with a list of this that and the third right like you were stupid to do this maybe you were doing doo -doo -doo -doo. like you're just being really hard on yourself and spirit is saying no you need to balance coming to to be firm in that you made the right decision especially if it's for particularly finances right so let's start off with finances first before we um before we get into the other one so this one because this is more so pertaining to your to things of financial so you're asking was i stupid for making that investment right your foundation um sometimes you have to lay down the groundwork uh before you can see the fruits right um but spirit is like you are in an alignment just keep staying strong keep staying strong don't cave in don't give up don't go uh don't even go towards a shortcut just stay on the path that is divinely guided for you right um because sometimes we could get to this stump in the road. <laughs> you get to this stump in the road and you be like, maybe I need to start selling Gucci. <laughs> maybe I need to go against things that I've always m morally went against. Maybe I need to do, you know what I mean? This, that, and the third. And Spirit's like, nah. You're like, nah, I'm sitting no. <laughs> you get out of the, get out of that prison of those thoughts, right? Sometimes the devil will come in in a form to confuse you, right? Um, to knock you off of the path that spirit has for you. I was watching, cause y'all know I love me some Tabitha. I was watching Tabitha Friday with Chance and Tab, right? And they were talking in this particular episode that I was watching um, was of them talking about raising their kids in this moment of like fame, right? 
um, in the public, while they're now in the public eye, what is it like raising their kids? Ponytails tight. <laughs> What's this like raising their kids? And the cool thing was, it was something that really struck out to me. It was like they were talking about back in the day. They used to talk about all the time during their struggle. They used to talk about um, what they would do if they won the lottery. If they won the lottery, um, well, they, the things that they would do, right? So this is a conversation that they've had many years throughout their marriage of what they would do if they won the lottery. And finally, she hits it off, right, with going viral and all of these opportunities and things came for her. And she was saying that, they were saying like, you know, we hit the lottery, we got to do the things that we wanted to do, but it wasn't in the traditional form of the lottery that we were expecting. They were like, we hit God's lottery. And through hitting God's lottery, um, so many things beyond what they could imagine, you know, happened for them. And they said now they're set up for even their grand, like their kids are set up nicely and their grandkids is set up nicely. And it was like, and we ain't even met them yet. Um, and now mind you, their child is probably like eight, maybe 10 or something like that. Maybe 11, <laughs> 12. <laughs> I don't know what their youngest, how old he is, right? I know he's young. Um, he's definitely not a teenager. And then the oldest is like 21, 22, right? And so they're like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they're set up, like it's gonna be a cool little minute before the youngest have a baby. But that that young, that baby is set up. It's comfortable, it's living good. As they're living good, as their kids is living good, you know? I just thought about how amazing that is, right? And that she never, she believed in herself. Even when it seemed crazy, she believed in herself and her husband believed in her too. But she believed that she was going to make it, right? She believed that she was going to be, to, you know, her calling to be an actress, right? To be on the screens. And it happened. And through her faith, it happened. But there's plenty of times, right? And I think right before, I think she was about to, if I'm not mistaken, in a different interview, I believe she talked about how she was about to give up um, right before it all happened because just of constant rejection. And so that's the spirit is saying to you, right? Like, don't give up. Like, you're laying down the found the, the the work so that spirit could carry it through you have to do your work so don't think that you're stupid don't doubt just think folks shift your focus to the thing that you need to do right and i had pulled this card that was on top of the deck i was it just felt called to pull it again but then i put it back but the four space right so say literally right you need to change your thoughts from doubt back to okay planning so you can execute right planning refigurating okay that didn't work but i'm gonna try it around this different way this idea may not have worked particularly but it doesn't mean that the goal itself the, the plan, the way that I went about achieving the goal may not have worked, but there's other different alternatives to it. And I just got to find which one works for me. Um, so Spirit says, shift your thoughts to back to configuring, to figuring out what works to build this foundation. But it's all about you heading there, right? So like I said, you got this fork in the road. You got this part. In that stage, you're at that stage where it's like, God damn. <laughs> well, God damn. How long is how long, right? How long is how long? Um, this is now the ego coming in. Why haven't I gotten the money that I wanted? Right? The ego wants the accolades for certain type of things. You're trying to work at it to get a, a fancy car or whatever you feel to go about your success, right? You're stuck right now, your thoughts of doubt because it's not looking the way your ego wants it because it's supposed to be the way God wants it. 
So Spirit is asking that you release the ego's need to determine what is considered success and know that you are already successful because God has you right where he needs you to be. Right exactly where he needs you to be to be successful. But you're looking at your money. You're like, well, I can't go to these fancy resorts and vacation. I can't keep doing out of country, this, that, and the third. But Spirit is like, but you get to stay home. You get to spend time with your family. You get to do things like go to a free beach. But you're like, yeah, big. I don't get to be alone. <laughs> and Spirit's like, yeah, but you get to be with your family. People don't get to do that. Oh, I feel like Spirit's talking to me right now, okay? <laughs> I'm being talked to, right? Because <laughs> this be me. Um, but seriously, right? Like, Spirit's like, you get to be with your family. Yeah, that person may have been it. You saw that person going on a three three week trip vacation to this that, and the third but the rest of the year they're in the office all day all long stressed they're sickly they're this that, and the third but you're like yeah but they get to travel and spirit's like yeah but what did you really want it did you want it to travel or did you want it peace and you like actually i asked you for peace so spirit's like you already received that abundance so what's going on why are you back here being negative, calling you, putting yourself down, calling yourself a joke, this, that, and the third? You get to do literally what you get to do. You know, you literally get to do what you love, but just because, you know, your bank account doesn't soothe your ego, doesn't mean anything. So now, let's go to the thoughts of love. Getting back into harmony within our hearts. Getting back into the space of continuing to be gratitude and be grateful to do what it is that we love, even if the fruits of the labor has not come. So you're an artist, you're making music, you're painting, you're doing this, that, and the third, but you're not making the sales like Cardi B. But Spirit's like, but you get to do what you love. You at number four, baby, you at number four. You're putting out the tracks. You're finding your producer. You know, you writing the songs. Why are you trying to jump and skip to something that you got to go step by step back? Get back to the fact of enjoyment and the gratitude for the fact that you get to do what it is that you love. Getting back into harmony. Getting back into balance. Right? It's our heart chakra that once you get into balance, you will then be able to receive the divine messages that is needed to carry through on the vision. Because emotional fulfillment is already readily present, right? Ten of hearts, emotional fulfillment. But emotional fulfillment may still be in the midst when you are at a four with your finances. You might still be in a negative in a deficiency with your finances but you are still receiving emotional fulfillment because you're getting back into the place of gratitude i ain't got three cents to my name but i'm so full and so blessed and so just happy that sometimes i feel like the rug is going to get swept up under me because of the fact that it's just like shit's so good right now like i feel good right now like you know, I feel good. I could get back into socializing. Like, blessings is here and coming and all of these things. And yet, I still want to be imprisoned by my thoughts of negativity. And Spirit's like, don't do that. Because I'll just attract negativity to you. I like when I do those cards because they're very challenging when it comes to channeling compared to like these like these kind of give you like a context clue but and in push come to show you can just read the message it is but when you do the playing cards like it challenges it challenges you because <laughs> you're so like where do i go from here prophetic dreams um i had a dream 
about somebody, uh, about one of my um, old best friends, right? I don't like to say ex-best friend because it sounds so messy. But one of my former besties, I had a dream about him yesterday. And I thought that it was so pure of a dream because it was such him and his essence, right? It was just him dancing good to Beyonce, like killing, killing it too with so much sass and vigor. And like I told y'all, the sight of owls coming up. I told y'all this Venus retrograde, you know, for me, it's less about romantic lovers as it is more so about friends and friendships and like family and, and things like that. And so I believe that spirit is also calling for us to reconcile with people, um, realize that some of it was just us. It was just a tough period in our lives where we had to isolate, um, ooh, ooh. <laughs> where we have to self-isolate and so spirit is like you're coming back into reconciliation with certain people um and it may yeah it may not be to the proximity of how it was supposed to be like what that connection was supposed to be but it's more of like being open and receptive to a new way a new version of you guys's connection um and this is not saying that me and him will be necessarily re recon reconciling, but I think it was just that message for somebody anyways of like this Venus retrograde is coming back into to really bringing us back with people that are maybe our own egos. Well, I was about to look for my phone. <laughs> our own egos have, you know. The light. <laughs> The light, the light, I was thinking. <laughs> so we were saying that your nigga, <laughs> your nigga's coming back. <laughs> To release uh, the need of stubbornness, uh, those thoughts of like, well, this person was in the wrong, this, that, and the third, um, trying to prove points and things like that. Spirit is asking and calling for us to let go, to let go of, of all of that, right? All of that sass. <laughs> Um, to be receptive and open to people and sometimes you know people are brought into our lives for a reason right and we talked about how in Maladoma's book it says to honor the family because you in your before you got here you chose the family you wanted to be a part of um, and so for me Remember I told you we're looking from 2015 to now, like the last retrograde, the Venus retrograde of 2015 to looking to now, right? So around 2015 was when I made my change and when I started to distance myself from everyone. Um, I started to, you started, you started to see me emotionally distance from people. Um, and I wasn't like that before ever. I was never ever like that before, but it was this period where I, you know, no, actually I had another period of like distance, but that was a good, really necessary distancing. Um, but other than that, you know, um, other than that spirit, I had started the journey of distancing myself from people. And yes, it was for my spiritual growth and all of those things. So it was definitely a blessing. But spirit is now calling for me to come back to people, come back to certain situations, come back to people who was divinely orchestrated to be in my life. And now I'm starting to understand knocking myself off of this like moral high code and thinking that like I am above thee, right? I am above all. Um, 
and coming back in understanding and accepting people's humanity accepting people's duality accepting the beauty of them and also the irritants of them right and i really appreciate meeting that this last person that i was talking to because i feel like through my encounter with him it opened me up to realizing the fallacies in my own thinking and my own arrogance and like i told you this this is the year of judgment right it's like judgment day it's highlighting and showing us just all the ways in which we've acted an ass um and i told y'all like i was peak asshole last year like that was like me at the worst of the worst right uh, of myself and so i believe that I believe that spirit is um, we have to um, yeah just get back into understanding other people's humanity and we can't condemn no one right and so, um, yeah, so I'm getting that, realizing, right, reviewing these thoughts. Okay, so why did you not want to hang out with this person? Okay, so was that a means of you wanting to control them and you being mad because they don't show up in the way that you visualize them to show up? Or is it because they literally is someone you need to stay away from? right is this someone that you literally need to stay away from or like is this somebody who's really really bad for you or is this somebody that something about them irritates you that you want to change that and you're just not accepting the person for who they are because you're looking for more disposable things right and so i was at the gym today and a revelation that came for me at the gym was the fact that um I was like, you know, I take for granted how e how easy it is for me to make friends and how easy it is for me to connect with people and get along with people. Like I can make friends easily anywhere I go if I open myself up to conversations and things like that. Um, and so with that, sometimes people who are in my life, I will be like, you could go because I could find another one, right? I could find another you or I could find this, that, and the third. So I treat people as so they are disposable and like i could find another you in a minute matter of fact you'll be hearing them sick it right and some people aren't people you can replace some people aren't people you that connection you could never find again right um and so spirit is like take a moment during this retrograde take a moment to look at and view who is actually somebody you should stay with and who not who is it like oh we just had a quarrel right this was just a thing in our connection versus this is in my eyes trying to fuck with it or right this is a, 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 a and so things like that so pay attention to your dreams and all of the things that are coming up who comes up in your dreams I think those are when the people the characters who show up in your dreams if they're people you're connected to that during this retrograde look at what your connection with them is like um review and re and evaluate that like how how what are ways that you can improve how you know how can y'all connection improve uh what needs to happen what doesn't need to happen you know things like that who is spirit going to probably bring back to you who spirit isn't going to bring back you know things things to that accord um just looking at stuff like that so pay attention to your dreams as things are coming up um, in the terms of your heart space, but also in terms of there's things that may be coming for finances and stuff like that. Sometimes we think about prophetic dreams and we're thinking about a future thing occurring, but sometimes, but a lot of times our dreams is just telling us of the things that we need to focus on when it comes to healing, things we need to learn a lesson from, things we need to receive wisdom from. So looking at your dreams and your thoughts and your daydreams off of and what the wisdom that you are receiving from that. So it's not even necessarily like, hey, I'm going to um, necessarily be besties with this person again. But it's like, you know what, I'm going to release the fear of getting close to 
or cultivating a new best friendship because of the loss of that one, right? I think for myself, I've deprived myself of really, um, really having a best friend because I hadn't had one after since that situation. Um, and you know, so things, so it didn't even doesn't necessarily mean like, oh, this person is coming back into your life. It's just like, hey, this is how you deprived yourself um, since the experience you experienced with that other person, right? So you could be, it could have been a romantic one and you could be like, okay, this is how you deprived yourself since that connection. Even with uh, thinking of like my ex-boyfriend, and thinking about why I just have so much anxiety when it comes to a commitment and the fact of like how I'm just like I just don't I can't be with someone who hates me <laughs> I can't be with someone who hates me or doesn't like me or doesn't feel on me like that or or just wants the attention of everybody else and things like that so this person he scares me a lot <laughs> he scares me a lot because I don't know there's no <laughs> There's no guarantee to him, but there's no guarantee to anybody. But I don't know. He just he terrifies me. It's so it's more easier for me. Like ah ah ah, I see this road. I see where this road is going. <laughs> Let me go, uh, because I've been with someone who is a notorious cheater. <laughs> you know, I've seen it my whole entire life. So now, with him, it's like with that situation. I was just like nah. Let me just go ahead and avoid this all together right now. I know what these signs are, right? Um, but understand that you're sacred. And getting to the wound, which is our trauma, right? Clearing that out, those traumas that is keeping us. Um, get back into, right, as we're heading towards our sacral chakra. Sacral chakra. I'm pretty sure fear is going to make us wait until Venus retrograde is over with to get into it which will be smart because then we'll be getting into scorpio season around that time and that houses the sacral chakra that's the sign that houses the sacral chakra is this is the sign that um that holds and house and comforts our traumas and things like that so we'll be getting in deep into our subconscious and getting into the deep depths of our waters um, that will be around uh, that will be around Scorpio season because we'll be starting a new brand new season anyways and usually winter time is a time to cry and all those things and when, in this summer it's not that time <laughs> it's too hot for all that <laughs> it's too hot <laughs> I love when hearing a black woman be like it's too hot <laughs> it's too hot for all that all that crying it is. It's too hot to be crying. It's too hot to be trying to look at a trauma. <laughs> it's too hot. <laughs> but understand, you are sacred. I'm going to read the fern in a minute. But look at you. Hold yourself. Um, you are sacred. And in understanding that sacredness, we want to protect ourselves, right? We want to protect our sacredness. We want to protect ourselves so much to where to get to the point where we get become paranoid, to the point where we become isolative, to the point to where we, we be too scared to, to rehash things or start new things, right? So tomorrow... I'm going to go spend time with my cousins. Um, and I just told y'all <laughs> well, last week my paranoia with that and my apprehensions with that. And this time I'm like, actually, I'm excited to see what, what comes to play, right? And keeping an open mind instead of trying to think about all of the things that have happened before, right? Because there's really isn't anything, there's nothing in particular. It's just what I've observed right so there's nothing even happened to me um and so yes so firm ooh, the karmic deck just pulled flew out by itself um yeah fern begins ferns begin to sprout during early days of spring breaking through damp packed winter soil at first they are curled inward and compact until they free themselves from the constriction around them at first they are curled inward what do, what do we do 
go in. <laughs> Here we are. Here. Uh, my body is so sore. Okay, and compact until they free themselves from the constriction around them. But once they rise above the heaviness and the darkness, they are free to unravel and expand into the world. So we've been in such heaviness and darkness going through our dark night of the soul that we don't even know how to act. We don't know how to be. Like, I feel like I'm just coming out of a, of a cave and a hole, stretching and be like, mm, what now, where have you been? Like, where am I? What's going on here? Why is it so bright? This, that, and the third, right? And so when you go through these periods of healing, of turmoil, of all of the things, all of the things, all of that emotional heaviness, it comes a point where you have to come back out into the light. See, we had the light show us, right? We have to come back out into the light and stretch ourselves instead of caving in into our shell. We're coming out as the turtle turtle. Pulling the fern card is an indication that you may have some lower vibrations swirling around you. Perhaps you have toxic people in your life, such as a cruel co-worker, a critical parent, or a gossiping friend. It's easy to get trapped in lower vibrational energies, especially when that is what you know. But you... You are an enlightened soul, are an enlightened soul, and can rise above through the negativity and stagnation. Fern guides you to reach for the light, even when there is only darkness surrounding you. Meet negativity with high vibrational energies like compassion, curiosity, and empathy. So it's fair to say. Right, like I told you, I'm going to hang out with my cousins tomorrow. It's not for me to go into being into that negative space. It's for me to to meet them with my high vibrational energy, to see them and have compassion for where they are in their life, to have empathy for where they are in their life, not to condemn them, but to have empathy and show grace and love, right? And so, like I told y'all, even with old friends and things like that, it's oh, they said a gossipy friend, didn't they? Sorry, my whole scalp itched. A cool coworker, critical parent, or a gossiping friend. So my prophetic dream was that of a friend, my friend coming. And that friend is a very of a gossiping friend. Um, but it's weird saying meet them with your high vibrations, right? Staying in your light help others to remember their own. Lost souls could simply need someone who is willing to listen with a loving heart that is free of judgment. If nothing else, staying staying in your light protects you from those who are not ready to have a joyful and heart-centered experience. So no matter what, no matter who you around, no matter who comes around into your space around this time, meet them again with compassion, with empathy, with high vibrate, vibrational energies and stuff like that. Do not meet them down in their lower frequencies. Stay within your light. Listen. Give wisdom, provide wisdom, provide grace, um, comfort, and things like that, and to remind them of their own, right? And if they don't, and then they're going to continue to to stay in that negative space, you know, um, if they continue to stay in that negative space, accept it. Accept where they are. <laughs> sorry where they are what i've learned also is that you know when we come out of our spiritual awakening we expect that our partner like the partner that we end up meeting will also come out of that too but sometimes your partner and the person your divine counterpart may not be operating in that just yet they might need you and it's you coming into their lives that that elevates them 
um, instead of us looking for somebody who is already up there, spirit may have you go get their ass, grab, have them grab your hand and pull their ass up. And so sometimes you're going to be very highly, highly irritated with your partner. They're going to be assholes and all of these things. But spirit is going to have for you to be empathetic and have grace and uh, compassion for where they are. Instead of being like, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> fuck you, nigga. <Liv. laughs> okay, hold on. Because my bizet, my back so I'm full. Can you carry your life? And it can't. <laughs> I'm gonna sit it down so you can do justice. Let me stand, baby. Hold on. Jesus. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> I'm laughing. Tell me that. Um. <laughs> I got it from Marshall. It is not supporting my boobs whatsoever. <laughs> they just been <laughs> flailing around. I didn't even run today because I was like, let me just do the bike today because these titties is not safe and secure. It is not safe and secure. <laughs> We on the ultra light beam. We on the ultra light beam. This is a god thing. This is a god thing. This is a god thing. I'm gonna do my face. <laughs> You know, we want to, when we come out of high vibrations, we want to only be around people who are high vibrational as us. But Spirit says, that's to be the whole purpose of your light. Your light is for you to go into the dark rooms and bring brightness to it. Go to those spaces where people need that. Um, they don't need to be around darkness. You know, if a person is depressed, like <laughs> the sustainer, if, the per if a person is depressed, they don't need to be surrounded by more and more darkness. They don't need dark rooms. They don't need a blackout curtain. They don't need, you know, no nightlight. <laughs> they don't need all of that. They need to be out in the sun. Okay? They need to be around laughter. They don't need to be around another motherfucker that's crying. That's a trauma bond. The offering. The hunter. My hunter card keep looking at me. We're gonna read that one. Cause I'll be like, yeah, girl, and I'll put it right back in the bed. The womb again. The sake in the empty room keep coming out, but I'm gonna put those back in the threshold. I need mean, somebody getting pregnant. My neighbor's pregnant. She's she's about to have a baby. But pregnancy is in the air. Pregnancy is in the air. You know, it's summer. It is summer. I 
miss that man. I miss that man. I know. <laughs> and I hate to admit it. I hate to admit it, but I miss him. And I'd be wanting to pick up the phone, pick up the phone, girl, yeah, pick up the phone, pick up the phone, pick up. I know you see me on your caller ID, so pick up the D-H-O-N-D. -E. Pick up the phone, girl, yeah, pick up the phone, ay, 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 I know you really do this. If you can call somebody and let somebody know that you're all right. Yeah. Yes, you are. For sending me straight to voicemail, but if it was my phone, it would be scary. We wouldn't know kind of hell, yeah. And if you try to pick up, mm hmm, 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 are you seeing me on your color ID? So pick up your P-H-O-N-E The tear <laughs> Hey now, don't act like that I know you got my message, boy, call me back <laughs> Hey now, don't act like I know you do pick up the phone <laughs> Hey now, don't act like I know you got my message for a call me back. Hey now, what you feel, bitch? Hey now, I know you got my message for a call me back. Hey now, what you feel, bitch? You pick up the phone. Hey now, pick up the phone. Pick up the phone, boy. Pick up the phone. Pick up. <laughs> I know you see me on your color ID. So pick up the B H O P E. Pick up the phone. Ay 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 ay. Damn, I gotta go listen to that. Oh. <laughs> okay. Call me up. Maybe you should call me later Cause you are The Inspire card had flipped out But had turned it over And create Cause I'm loving what she's saying And instinct Maybe you should Ooh, and learn Love, love Love And still this Love, love As long as we got <laughs> Skirt up on me, guys. Skirt up on me, guys. <laughs> on me, guys. Even if you, baby. If you, baby. <laughs> Okay, let's see if there's anything else. Yeah, baby. Do whatever you want. It's about love. Love. Long as we are. Communicate. You talk to your nigga, girl. Talk to your nigga, girl. Y'all need to have communication. Y'all need to have a conversation. Like, y'all miss each other. <laughs> y'all miss each other, friend. <laughs> friend, y'all miss each other. <laughs> and, yeah. Collaborate. <laughs> 
collaborate to get you some beads. Okay, we can collaborate with your new I hope they still got the nails because nothing's been flying out. Family, sacred, and trick. Death. Transformation has been coming around a lot. Things are transforming. We are transforming. Um, rest. <laughs> Transform. Literally. And I ain't even gonna hold y'all though. Like the way times are about to be like and the fact that like you really need to be with your family and build rebuild your family system and your family note network and like on some like we pull up we spoken out we know we we connected together on some shit like So provide intention, play, rest, joy, death. The transformation that is happening is the playtime. So you have Starborn, the mentor. So remember, I told you you're going to provide guidance for people now. Spirit does not want you in isolation anymore. You have to go out and be with the people now. You know, just because, you know, you need to shed that light. Spirit had you go on that journey for a reason because you are the mentor. You are the, you know, guide people through that. It's not going to always be guiding people through them coming to you from booking a reading. Sometimes it's going to be you going out and conversating with people, having conversations with people, uplifting people, listening to people, so on and so forth. The riddle, the wound, the hunter, the offering. Ooh, there's another card stuck to oh, the creator. The creator, you see, she's got a, a paintbrush and the sustainer. So, you know, like I told y'all, we're staying in America, right? So, because we're staying in America, we need to. So because we're staying in America, we need to, um, oh, God, <laughs> my back sore. I just did my back today, and so my back is sore, really sore, and I also have something digesting that I can feel right here, like digesting. And it was probably that egg that I ate earlier today. It's like digesting right here. It ended it. <laughs> and then I just did yoga. And so, you know, transforming myself into getting back into health and wellness. Health and wellness on fitness and really doing really good. I did really good this week with my fitness routine of just waking up early and hitting the gym and being done with the gym by 10 o'clock, which is usually the time that I was heading there. <laughs> Or trying to decide if I was going there. You see my arm looking good. Look at her. You see? 
Like she still got whole pockets of seasoning, but not too much, right? Not too much. I saw this lady, I saw this video on Twitter of this lady and she was like seasoning her chicken and shit like that with her friend and she was like girl my man hungry like i need to fix something for my man he gonna pay these bills i'm gonna fix something for my man and i saw all these young kids being like that's ridiculous like he could have uh he could miss out on a meal today he could pick up something himself for one day if she's relaxing with her girls and shit like that but i was watching it and i was tickled because i was like same, sis, same. <laughs> if you pay the bill, sir, and I don't got to work, <laughs> and I could just continue to fulfill my dreams as being a painter, sir, you will have, you will have um, salmon croquettes when you're ready, when you're getting off work. <laughs> you will have you some salmon croquettes and some rice for breakfast. If you want eggs, you, you can have you some eggs. You want you, you know, for dinner, you can have your little pot roast and you can go, go on to work. And the thing about me is let me move in if you want me to compete with other women. You want me to, if you want me to compete with other women, you're going to have to have me move in so it can be fair game. Okay? Because I'm going to move in and you're going to be real relaxed. Okay? And you're going to be full. <laughs> you're going to be full. Okay, too tired, too tired to be trying to hit it from the back for somebody else. Okay, you gonna be full, and I'm gonna suck it off. <laughs> so you ain't even gonna be hungry, horny. So by the time you see this woman, you gonna have indigestion. <laughs> you gonna have indigestion. I'm not cooking you a salad. <laughs> I'm not cooking that nigga a salad. He gonna have a steak and some potato. He gonna have some real full and heavy on. <laughs> In his belly, right? He gonna have a real full, real heavy on his belly. He go. I'm put on some meditation music. <laughs> put on a little essential oil, have a little lavender. Okay, he gonna be too sleepy. His eye gonna be. He gonna be too sleepy to text a bitch back. You know, because <laughs> he full. <laughs> Even well fuck, and I'm gonna massage his foot. Okay, I massage his feet so he don't head on to work. Okay, so by the time he get to work and you know fast ass is still flirting with him while he at on the job on the clock. <sighs> he he gonna be too full, honey. He gonna be too full and sleepy and sluggish to even pursue you. Because that's okay. You know, men men it's a lot when they when they single, right? Because he's eating <laughs> he's eating hot links, okay? <laughs> that ain't even all that great. All right, some of these girls, the most they can make is some fettuccine alfredo. Pasta, you hungry after an hour or two from pasta, okay? I'm about to have some baked chicken in that in the house, okay? He's gonna be, he gonna have baked chicken on the day you wanna be healthy. You gonna have baked chicken and some yams, <laughs> okay? Okay. Bath water, hot, <laughs> hot, ready for his ass, right? Keep him busy. I'm gonna keep him busy, and then right when he's about to grab his phone, be like, ah, 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 go make your YouTube video. <laughs> go make your YouTube video because you got things you need to do for your future. I'm not, I'm not here to be played with, okay? I'm not here. To... <laughs> I'm not here to be played with. That lady was smart. She said, uh, uh. I'm about to make it. I, I don't need to be in that pool. I'll go back to that pool. Let me just season this chicken and put it in an oven real quick. And I, we can proceed. And people were like, that's ridiculous. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She's using too much seasoning. Ooh, 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 ooh. I said, but she married, though, ain't she? And she kept in this modern time, ain't she? <laughs> shut the fuck up. Let me shut the fuck up. Okay? Because 20-year-old me. 20 year old me would have been like oh hell no that is abuse <laughs> that's abuse that's this that and the third but 30 year old me 30 year old me is like that lady is wise and i need i need a book out of i need to take a page out of her book like she's wise <laughs> she's filled with a brink of wisdom okay
So anyway, this is Dana. I'm gonna be the hunter. Oh, the hunter. We already know what the sustainer is. We're creating our reality. We're hunting and going for the thing that we want. Ooh, the seeker, the pursuer, the predator. The hunter hunts. They are on a a precise mission with an aim to return home empty-handed would be to fail which is not an option in the hunter's eye this archetype will journey far and wide seeking the prize that calls to its heart or stomach <laughs> Tales of bravery and feats of strength often result creating a life full of adventure. The hunter is skillful, quick, decisive, and results oriented. Like the great hunting goddess Artemis, who carries her quiver upon her back, the hunter typically has a weapon of choice. When this card appears, it is critical that you ask three questions. What am I hunting? Why am I hunting it? It's a weapon I hold so tightly in my grip, truly needed for the task at hand. When, when you activate the hunter archetype, you are aligning your energy with the great. Um, creatures of the world the lion the wolf the tiger the shark do so with care see so you want to hunt this man down what weapon is you using and are you holding on to it too tightly if you hold on to your Gucci too tightly you hold on to your what are you hunting So we want to go after the things that we want, right? Um, but we have to understand the intricacies of getting to that, right? And spirit is trying to understand the mode in which... The mode in which, in the route in which you are trying to take to achieve this, is it is it useful, right? Going back into the earlier parts of our re reading, right? the ways which the route you're trying to go is are you holding too tightly to that to that are you holding too tightly into achieving that goal the way you think you should achieve it right so spirit saying let go and look at the intricacies in the interwoven ways in which you could go in achieving that goal there is no one structure life is intricate right life is filled with riddles so is achieving your goals so is achieving your mission right the womb is about creativity. It's the how is housing and is hoisting the womb. So sometimes it also could be: Are you holding on to yourself in your own energy too tightly? Are you holding on to you too tightly? Spirit is going to need you to now break out into to expense expansiveness, being the mentor, right? Being the starborn, being the light being in these connections and things like that. Spirit has you isolate so you could do different things, this, that, and the third, but it also allows them to appreciate you and your energy, right? Appreciate it. So now that you're going back, spirit's like, okay, I don't want you to hold on so tightly to your light. I don't want you to hold on so tightly to your sacredness, to your energy. Share it offering be your presence be an offering spirit tells me that all the time let your presence be the offering itself it is the gift itself spending one on time with people is the gift itself so stop holding on to your isolation so tightly sometimes for me my weapon when i am mad at someone is isolation you piss me off i'm taking my energy away now you don't have me the spirit's like, is that tactical? Is that right? Let go of the weapon sometimes. So if you miss your sometimes it might be you who needs to go say hello. Be the mentor. Be the one sustaining, creating your reality, create the life that you want to 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 be a part of.
um, do things intentionally. I'm going to read the provide card. I'm done. We're done. What is that? A cow? Bitch, I'm a cow. Okay, I'm going to replay for first. The monkey. Shake that monkey. Shake that monkey. Okay, so this card represents playfulness and embracing one's childlike instincts. In the fork world of the Philistine of the Philippines, monkeys are associated with children who turn into small primates primates through laughter. In popular culture, monkeys are often associated with mischief, laughter, and fun. This card promotes a childlike view of the world, a playful heart, and not reading too heavily into hidden meanings. This card has been seen as a call to heal the effects of childhood trauma or familial emotional abuse. It asks you to care for your inner child and allow them to play. Do not take matters so seriously. Allow yourself to let go once in a while. Embrace the present rather than always thinking of the future. One of the most popular depictions of the monkey in Chinese literature is that of the monkey king, Sun Wukong, from the 16th century novel Journey to the West. Beginning life as a playful wild monkey, Sun Wukong becomes a traveler, warrior, hero, and great magical being. This card might indicate an adventure or journey with the fun of allowing new and exciting ventures into your life and discovering who they will allow you, discovering how they will allow you to grow and change. Play. Ain't that the myth? Because I am a very serious person. Like, I know that I, like, have a goofy, like, disposition to me and, like, personality. But I am a very serious person. And I um, prioritize work over everything, right? Career over everything. Um, and it's really crazy to see. Yeah. <laughs> revelation again right to see as these reconnections are coming back into my life seeing the way in which I have prioritized my career over those connections um over all of them right <laughs> literally all over them so I talked about how people chose other people over me I chose my career over other people so I'm no better they're just a reflection of me I think that <laughs> that's also what I'm doing right now is choosing career and my goals over other things uh, over my fun and stuff like that and I need to learn the balance to have fun especially because I came from a parent who was very serious right and the ab abuse that came from that of just being this structured sit still be still be seen not heard type of child in spirits like I need you to be seen heard felt all of the things <laughs> all of it so c come out um Coming. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Right? So, yeah. I'm gonna feel a little down. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm kind of under the weather. Under the weather. Transform. In Sierra Madre Hills, Mexico, the migration of monarch butterflies has taken place around the time of Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead, since pre-Hispanic times. Many people associate the butterflies with the souls of loved ones, returning to, returning to family and friends for the celebrations. This card could be seen as a comfort to those who have lost someone. If you believe in an afterlife or rebirth, it is a reminder that these loved ones continue. If you do not... If you do not, it is a sign of their energy being released into the universe and passing into nature. We are going to be experiencing death. That's why families are coming back together because we're about to go through experiencing great loss of some of the, you know, of just beautiful people, like funerals. 
funerals brings a time of closeness, right? And close knitness. I'm about to take this damn ponytail off me. It is time. It's tight. <laughs> this little ponytail sis is moaning, honey. Ooh. Yes. To God be the glory. So you know how, like I told y'all, 2015, whew, 2015 was, it's crazy how you could put the hair down or up and it gets two totally different looks compared to even if it was down here. This is my home. The Crips are green. Now I found out what division Crips are in the 30s. Because homie was like, <laughs> homie was like, because <laughs> homie was like, <laughs> uh, what? What Crips is that? And I was like, nigga, I don't know. I don't know the division. <laughs> but now I do. And do. That's funny. I'll be cracking my own self up. But shit escalates real quick. I have to look and make sure like shit. Do I need to get out before they start shooting my shit? <laughs> Damn this video. <laughs> now y'all see why I be so hidden. I be so long and cut. Just in case. Just in case, like shit is gonna, it goes from zero to 100 real quick, especially on Fridays. Especially on Fridays. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, we gonna, gonna, we gonna go through some deaths um, that we are preparing for. Um, Damn, I just thought about that. She just talked about that lady and she got, she going through chemo. Um, that's all about that. That's all you get me talking about, people. Uh, I was supposed to be reading the cow. So y'all over here just talking to me too. <laughs> just funny. Anyway, so, this, so the cow to provide. This card represents, let me show it. Let me show it because y'all might have forgot. This one. Dead, joy, peace, and the joy, play. See, fear, like play. Set the attention to play. Rest, Ebony. Rest. How, spirit? Bitch, rest. You've been doing a lot this week. Rest. So this card represents production. <laughs> production and provision. Domesticated farm animals have provided for humans for centuries. And whatever your views on animal ag agriculture, it is difficult not to associate these extraordinary creatures with our progress, nourishment, development, whether 
um it is ancient egyptian worship of sacred bulls well, okay i'm not about to do all of that okay so often symbolizing fertility virility harvest and plenty this card is a signal coming to fruition prosperity and reaping benefits in india and the hindu faith the cow is venerated and laws help protect cattle from slaughter and mistreatment in hindu mythology deities took the form of the cow to provide humanity with sustenance and then we just got the sustainer um card in the other one literally he's looking at us right now in the flesh okay um very good things are happening since we keep having these like fertility cards right so as things are dying things are also coming to be new right so with birth comes death so you you don't know which one you're going to experience first usually you experience death before you can experience birth right and so we're going to be having a lot of deaths happening but there's also going to be births of new things happening so even if there is people coming up for venus retrograde it's for us to determine whether or not this is uh a matters of like um death to this union death to these things making peace with that by right? attending the funeral the proverbial funeral of a connection or whoop um but also the birth of something new maybe the birth of a new version of your connectivity and things of that nature You know, I realize the issues that be happening that be coming with my cousins usually have to do with my mama and now I'm hanging out with them without her and so I think it's gonna be so much fun and so much free with her not being there it's like I'm gonna be around her okay um the cow card urges you to help and provide for those around you. It may be seen as a symbol of charity, sharing abundance, and producing for the good of others. Literally, spirit is telling for us to get out of uh, isolation and now start helping others through our presence, through our wisdom, through the things that we've learned ourselves and things like that, through our light, you know, through our healing energies, through a listening of ear, stuff like that. Um, help getting back into helping others, um, but playing and it's going to be through playing and resting and stuff like that. So it's going to be instead of telling vision on your goals and your visions for your future is more about spirit saying okay i need you to go to the beach with your family i need you to go shake that ass somewhere with your friends you know like things like that like spend time with these people hang out drink smoke whatever you need to do to have fun with people instead of being so fixated and focused on you know your financial goals and stuff like that be in a receptive receiving energy um instead of necessarily being in a work 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 it's my number because you've been working you've been working for a long time and it's and honestly it, it's time for spirit to pay up like it's time for spirit to pay up like you've been diligent you've been working for such a long time and helping with spirit and things like that but now it's time for spirit to 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 return the favor i return the favor i can't think of the worst of the words of the song right now Keep it on the low, nobody knows. If I'm just going to be true. Uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> Too bad I'm nobody knows. I, I didn't take it all the way with you. But I can see no gonna keep on my best behavior. Huh? I'm a ton of yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 This is such a good summer. Um, it's such a better energy and feeling of a summer this year than it was last year. Last year was so chaotic. Okay. Last year was so chaotic. <laughs> mentally for me it was all caused by me the chaos was internal honey <laughs> it was internal it was self-inflicted chaos okay it could all be so simple but you rather work your heart love you like yeah, and we both end up the same. No matter how I seem to go, you will always seem to let me know it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. And when I try to walk away, you hurt yourself to make me stay. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Ooh, care for me, care for me. I know you're there for me, there for me, there for me. You say you there for me, cry for me, cry for me. You say you die for me, give to me, give to me. Why won't you live for me there? <laughs> My music break probably wasn't even on court, but <laughs> to say the least, that's the message for today. It's to play, it's to release, it is to give that of your energy, okay? Energy. Energy. <laughs> okay. <laughs>